Nancy wants to make a Halloween quilt for her daughter. Joyce is making a fall quilt in honor of her sister. And Victoria has a five-year-old fabric that needs to be matched. Let's help them out. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe, and I'm your fabric matchmaker. Guys, it's fall, it's finally here, and there's no better way to change up your decor than putting some lovely fall quilts in your home. So our participants today all sent in fall or Halloween themed fabric swatches, and they are so different from one another. So let's find out how to match all of these up with all of these different styles. And plus, we have a little previous matchmaker quilt to share with you, so be sure and stay to the end. So our first fabric was sent in by Nancy. And Nancy sent this fabric that has pumpkins and scarecrows and crows and sunflowers and all these different fall themed things. And I love them. I mean, look at these scarecrows. They're wearing sunflower overalls. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? And they're all in this cornfield. I just love it. I love how also that it's just outlined with a hint of metallic, which is so, so very cool. So let's find out what Nancy has to say about this fabric. Nancy writes, I obtained this fabric from my quilting guild. I thought this fabric was such a happy piece of material. I don't really have anything to go along with it in my fabric stash. I hope to give this quilt to one of my daughters who loves Halloween. I enjoy your matchmaker segment so much. You really have so many great ideas for material matching. Can't wait to see what you have in mind for this fabric. I'm just a beginner quilter, so everything is a new experience for me. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at my fabric. Sincerely, Nancy. So Nancy, I think we have something very special and unique just for your fabric. Now, Nancy, I have chosen a pattern that seems a little unlikely, but it's gonna look great. This is our fireworks pattern, and I love this for your fabric. One, we have a nice big area here that's gonna show off the scarecrows, which is great. And it has a little movement here and this little star block, which I really love. Now, you mentioned you were a beginner quilter, and this is the perfect way to jump into half square triangles because there's not too many and it gives such a nice movement to the quilt. Love that it's done in columns and love it in your fabric. So let's go check it out. We have put her scarecrows in the number one position, which is perfect because it's a larger print. It actually is not a directional fabric. Well, it's a two-way directional fabric. So it's gonna work perfectly in the pattern that we chose. And I really like it. Lots of movement going on, lots of interest in her fabric and we are gonna put it in this big rectangle here in our fireworks pattern. Now you're probably thinking, what an unusual choice, and it kind of is, but whenever I placed the fabric in here, it was so, so great. So we're gonna show an image in a minute. Now we've paired it with two more simple fabrics, and you know how I love to say, when you have a busier, larger print fabric like Nancy's, we want to pair it with something smaller and more subdued so that her fabric really stands out as the focus. So we've paired it with a very warm cream here and it really picks up like the happy faces of the scarecrows here. And I think it works really great. It has some texture to it. So it almost has like a, a burlap look or something like that. It has that really kind of a woven texture that's printed on it and it works really well in a fall themed quilt with our focus. It's gonna be our background, so it's gonna help our focus pop. Then our number three. And you know, when I was choosing the number three, I wanted to keep a little bit of whimsy, but I didn't wanna to go too bold or too distracting from the focus. So we found this kind of rust color that picks up the rust in the scarecrows and just a little line just to give it some interest. And it's gonna work perfectly in our stars here and on our border. Now, Nancy, you mentioned in your letter that you were a little bit of a beginner quilter. I think this pattern is super, super easy to put together. There's just a small amount of half square triangles, so it'd be a great practice for you if you're just starting to make those. But they go together so fast, so easy, and I think your fabric looks so, so great in this pattern. And as you can see, those stars are just adding such a great fall touch. I like that. Your scarecrows really show up well in that big rectangular block. What a perfect focus block for a big focus fabric. I really like it. So it worked well. Then we have our rust on the border, our number three fabric. 
that just frames it all so perfectly and just screams, hello fall. <laughs> so the fireworks pattern is from our book, Make It Patriotic. And Nancy, for participating today, we will be sending you the book with the pattern, as well as one yard each of your fabric two and your fabric three. So thank you so much. And let's see what you've inspired for everyone else. So we have some really fun scarecrows here. Not exactly the same as Nancy's, but very happy. Still with the corn, we have our fun little outfits on our scarecrows that are just so cute. Some dresses, some little blue jeans with rope belts and different things like that. Very fall, very bright and cheery. This is our focus fabric. It's gonna be in the big block here in our fireworks pattern, just like Nancy's. Now we've paired this with the similar number two, which is kind of a burlap texture that's printed on the fabric. And it's gonna go in the background here. And then our number three, which is our gorgeous rust that picks up all the rust in the focus fabric. It is our stars and our border. I think this is just darling and I love it in this pattern. And I think the fireworks pattern is such an unlikely choice. We don't think about it for other seasons, but it works so beautifully. How great that comes together with the scarecrow in that big rectangle. Those little touches of stars just give it that fall flavor and that wonderful rust. I think it turned out really, really great. So let me get you the kit information on this one. It is Happy Scarecrows. And once again, it is our fireworks pattern in the Make It Patriotic book. Now our next wonderful fabric is sent in by Joyce and it is a very fun fall scene. So we have like farmhouses. We have a barn back here with the fields, all of the pumpkins and apples and bushel baskets. This is a great fabric and it's a little bit different from what Nancy sent in where Nancy's had a little whimsy to it with the scarecrows. Same wonderful fall colors, but a little bit different playfulness. This one is very scenic and it, I can really see it on a farm. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Or if you have a little bit more of a, a rustic style that you love, we also have a lot of pumpkins thrown in here, which I think is just, it's very, very fun. Let's see what Joyce says about her fabric. Joyce writes, my sister bought this fabric at a church rummage sale several years ago and gave it to me to make something. There's five yards on the bolt. I love the fabric, but can't decide what to do with it. My sister passed away in 2018, but I would still like to make something beautiful with her fabric. Thank you for any suggestions. Joyce, we have something wonderful. I think that your sister would love it whenever we get it all together. So let's go check out the pattern that we've chosen. Now this is our modern charm pattern. And you know, I have been going to this pattern more and more lately. Let me tell you why. So we have a nice big block right here that can accommodate a directional fabric. So Joyce, for your fabric with that beautiful pumpkin farm fabric, it's gonna work really well right here. Now you're gonna get this nice scenery with your fabric. Then we've got some interest here that gives it that little bit of a traditional touch. And I like that we have this churn dash block here to offset the scenery. So I think it works really, really well. Great for directional fabric in this block here because it's independently cut. Joyce, let's go talk about it some more on the table and check out the coordinates with your fabric. So Joyce's fabric is scenic. It has a scenery on it and it's a larger print, which means the repeat from, from one barn picture or pumpkin patch here to the next has a large space between them. So we wanted to get a big enough, large enough block that is cut independently so that we could see that scenery, which is very important because that's the beauty of the fabric. Also, we needed to, to choose something that the blocks are cut independent of anything else. They're not sewn in a strip assembly. They're not bordered or anything like that. So we can put a directional fabric in it, makes it very, very simple. So her focus fabric, which is where we've placed it here, is in this big block here. Now we've paired it with two simple fabrics. When we have something like this that is picturesque, which this definitely is, we wanna keep the focus on the picture, on the beautiful scenery of the fabric. So I've paired it with two very simple fabrics a nice beige that has some texture to it. That's gonna go everywhere the gold is. And then kind of a nice kind of rusty red brown that goes very well with the focus. And this goes on our churn dash and on our border here. 
So the reason why this works, now I've paired it with those two simple fabrics, but this alternate block that we're gonna piece together, this churn dash, gives us interest, but it doesn't give us so much that you're not looking at the alternate block. What really helps with this too is the number two fabric gives you that space between. So it really helps you focus on that scenery, but also see the beautiful, beautiful piecing. And I think this went together really, really well. I think the churn dash block is such a beautiful block for fall and I love it in these earthy colors. Isn't it gorgeous? And you know, you really do look at the scenery. So Joyce, you have some beautiful farm fall scenery here with the pumpkins, the apples, the barns, the rolling hills, just gorgeous. And I love the way it works in the modern charm pattern so that you've got that churn dash alternating, but it doesn't draw away. It just gives you that extra little punch. So Joyce, for participating today and sending in your fabric, we are going to be sending you the book Quick as a Wink, which has the modern charm pattern in it. We will also be sending you one yard of your number two and one yard of your number three. So thanks so much. Now let's see what Joyce has inspired for the rest of us. Now, before we show you the next kit, I wanna kind of mention something. All of the quilts that you're gonna be seeing today incorporate half square triangles. And sometimes they can get a little drudgery, but I love making them whenever I have the right tool. So I love the slotted trimmer. This speeds up my half square triangles so much. And I also feel like that it helps them be a lot more accurate. So this would be a great tool to add to your collection if you don't have this already. Now, Hannah has a preference on what she uses for half square triangles, and that is the magic wand. This is a nifty little tool. I could actually see so many uses for this. It is so great. You can use it for half square triangles as well as other things. So if you don't have either one of these tools in your arsenal, you probably ought to go check them out on our website, fabriccafe.com in our notions section. All right, let's check out our next kit here. And you know how, I love to find the same fabrics and I can't always do it, but I try to get something with the same flavor. So Joyce inspired me to go with pumpkins and that's really what I did here. I think these pumpkins are so much fun for fall. It is just pumpkin on top of pumpkin with those beautiful green leaves, very striking, just a little bit of metallic in these just to kind of give it a glisten that it outlines all of the leaves and the pumpkins. So this is gonna be our focus fabric. It's gonna go in this big block here, which accommodates my directional fabric, so it's perfect. Our number two is the wonder, te wonderful textural cream here that'll go in the background and a little bit on the border. And then our green texture, which picks up the green and the leaves on the pumpkin, which I think is perfect. This is gonna be our little churn dash here, as well as a little bit on the border. This is really gonna help it be cheerful fall. I love how this came together. You can see how the pumpkins just fill up those squares to overflowing, like it's abundance, like so many pumpkins ready to go. And then that churn dash block just really kind of offsets it and gives you a lot of interest in the quilt. Simple fabrics paired with the more printed fabric. Perfect example of that. So let's get you the kit information here. It is called Harvest at Home. The pattern, once again, is Modern Charm, and it's from our Quick as a Wink Three Yard Quilts book. Now, what would fall be without a great Halloween fabric? And Victoria sent in just the thing. Now, this is a unique fabric, and I'm gonna share it with you. And I know at the office it created quite a stir we all loved it, even though it's a little unique. So let's look at this fabric. We have a nice black background with these very interesting and very lovely um, lady zombies. <laughs> so it is perfect for Halloween. This fabric makes you do a double take and it makes you come back and look again because you're going, what? <laughs> so I love it, Victoria. Thank you for sending it in. It truly has all of these beautiful ladies, a little worse for wear, probably ready for Halloween, lots of interest, and it is a big, big directional print. So we're gonna find something perfect for this. All right, let's find out what Victoria has to say about this fabric. So Victoria writes, I love the Matchmaker series and I'm hoping you can assist me in finding some spooky season inspiration. I've always been fond of vintage clothing, vintage movies, and pop art. 
Halloween is also my favorite holiday. So when my husband proudly presented me with a bolt of this fabric while we were shopping because he thought I might like it, I gleefully carted it home several yards. But this fabric that combines two of my great loves has been languishing in my stash for almost five years. The color story is a difficult one to work with. The tones are so muted, it's difficult to find complementary colors that don't feel too precious for the theme. Additionally, the scale feels disproportionate when I try to find prints that complement it. Zombie pinups aren't for everyone, but I'd love to cuddle up under a spooky quilt and hand out cider and candy for Halloween. Thanks so much for your consideration. Well, Victoria, we've got something fun, and I think you've addressed a very interesting pro problem that we're gonna talk about in just a moment. Let's go check out the pattern. Now, Victoria, for your very unique fabric, we have chosen the elation pattern. There's a reason why we've done this, because your fabric is such a showstopper and it's so unique. I wanted to make sure that I chose a pattern that had a really nice large square. This can also accommodate the directional fabric, which yours is, so that's very important. And I wanna make sure I get all of those zombie ladies in there. So we wanna make sure it's a good size and the elation pattern does have a good size block. Now it's also framed here with two different colors, our fabric two and three, and it's framed really well so that it keeps some interest However, it's not too overpowering with your fabric. I think your fabric is the showstopper for sure. So we need to make sure that it's framed well in a big block with a very interesting border. So we've done it here with the elation pattern. Let's get it on the table. Check out the placements of your fabric and those coordinates. So first let's determine the fabric is a directional fabric. So the first thing we need to look for is that block that is cut independent. Second, it is a very large print. So we need to find an independently cut block that is a larger block. So we want this to stay the focus fabric. So these are the first two reasons why I chose the elation for this, because it has this a very large block that is cut independently. So our pinup girls here are gonna work perfect in this larger section. And you turn that block whichever direction you need to, the way the pattern is written. Now, as uh, Victoria was talking about it was very difficult to pair anything with this fabric because it looked too precious she said and I understand that because this is a, a rough and tumble you know it's a Halloween fabric we want to keep it rugged and don't draw the attention away from the focus because it's the focus fabric that we love so much so I'm pairing it with two very simple fabrics and the elation pattern so let's step through this so that I can explain so the number two fabric, it is just, it's a gray, it has some texture, it's all roughed up looking. It, it's that grungy feel that I feel like coordinates so well with our pinups here. This is gonna go everywhere you see the cream on this quilt. So what we're doing is we're keeping the number two and the number three simple, not too contradictory here. We don't want our eye to be drawn to another print. So our number three fabric, we have a brown that has some gray in it. Once again, it has that roughed up grungy feel, which I thought was perfect for the feel of the pinups. It picks up all the browns like in their hair and all of their clothing and their legs and everything. That is gonna go where the green is here. So what we've done here is we've picked two more simple prints, almost a solid, but not a solid. And we've put it in a pattern that has the dynamics in the pattern. So we're getting our interest from the piecing, not from the coordinating fabrics. So that's a really important thing to keep in mind. No matter what your genre of fabric is that you love, whether it's happy scarecrows, farm scenes, or pinup zombies, it doesn't matter the genre. What matters is that you're picking a pattern that has that big block and that has interest in the pattern with two simple other prints. That's where you're gonna be the most successful and really create this incredible, incredible quilt. We can see that your focus is in that big center, center of the square there. And then we have our two coordinating fabrics, the brown, the gray as our number two and three. And it's the piecing that creates the extra interest. 
not necessarily the fabrics two and three. Lots of pop, lots of interest, lots of wow, and you're gonna have all kinds of people going, what is on your quilt? Let me look at that. I just love this fabric. It's gonna be great. So thank you so much for participating today, Victoria. We are gonna be sending you Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts, which has the elation pattern in it, as well as one yard of our number two and our number three fabric, so you can make this up. And please send a picture if you make it up, because we would love to see it. All right, let's check out what we have for everyone else. I was not able to find the exact colorway of these pinup zombie girls, but I was able to find this kind of, it's a purpley pink background, but the same prints. So I'm super happy about that because this is a really cool fabric. I really like it. So here we have all of our zombie ladies here. And once again, they're large scale. They're very fun. They're going to work perfectly in this big block. Now we have paired it with the same number two, that grungy gray that's going to go in our background where our cream is and our brown, kind of brown gray that's got all that texture to it, and that is gonna go where the green, the green is on this quilt. So this is gonna be great, not exactly the same colorway, but it's gonna work just as well. Once again, we have that really dynamic focus fabric. That's our showstopper, keeping it with two simple prints. And you know that purpley pink on the background of our focus fabric? It's different, but it still looks so, so good in this pattern. And I love it with the pop of the, the, the gray and the brown. It just really works together. And all of those browns in the focus fabric really show up when you put it with the brown on the border of the block. Very, very cool, very nice. All right, the kit information on this one, it is called Vintage Halloween. The pattern is Elation and it is from the book Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts. So I wanna share an image with you now from Helen. Helen sent in some fabric that was featured in episode 22 of Matchmaker. Be sure and check that out. We have the image here and we put her fabric in stepping stones. Wow, Helen, what a gorgeous quilt. I am floored, it turned out so beautiful. Great job on all your piecing. And I'm noticing that you put a little extra on the border, which I think is so cool. I love it when you guys take inspiration from what we're doing and just run with it and do your own thing. And I love that that, fa that focus fabric is on the border. Great, great job. So what style are you? I know that I tend to be, you know, bold in color. You know that about me. I love strong color. I know that Hannah loves Halloween. Hannah's been eyeing that zombie pinup fabric ever since it got here. So what is your style? I would love to hear. Be sure and put it in the comments below. Now, if you would like to participate in the Fabric Matchmaker, all you have to do is go to our website, fabriccafe.com, click the free goodies tab, and there will be a submission form for Fabric Matchmaker. And please, if you can, send me a 12 inch swatch so I have plenty to work with to drop that into an image. We love getting them. It's always like a special day when we get new matchmakers in. Absolutely love them. It's Fran Morgan, your fabric matchmaker.